Welcome back to Square Meal, where we have our final meal, and also the hardest meal to keep off of ourselves, the dessert. So let's begin with level 41, and end off at 50. And we are immediately... <laughs> we are immediately thrown into a level where we get ourselves lots and lots of delicious jello. Yay! Who doesn't love jello? Or slime? Yum! It's green! And gelatinous. It, rise, it reminds me a little bit about me. But I'm not an asshole that kills everyone, so... I guess that speaks for itself, doesn't it? Cool. Um, this is not going to work out in my favor. Actually, yes it is. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's worth it. There we go. Generally not a too difficult of a level. But you want to shoot these blocks horizontally because there's not as much space for you vertically. Otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward level. Hit the monsters and go one lane up or one lane down. And I don't know what to do because that jello block is in the most inconvenient spot ever. Come on. Alright, you know what? Maybe I'll try to snipe you. Okay, maybe I won't. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'll just leave you here then. Please don't go down there. I'm busy trying to kill you. Aha! There we go. We can end that off pretty easily. And I don't need this low counter anymore because we're, we're hopefully going to complete this game today. A nice little self insert here as well. In that. Oh god. Never mind. I'm gonna have to destroy your logo, Nitrome. But yeah, Nitrome. Wooey! Yes! It's lo lovely. I guess. I don't know. Welcome to Nitram. All right, that's actually ni nit Nitrama. I, I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna leave that monster in the O as my last enemy. And what we're going to do now is go after the food items and the monsters outside. So launch that off, and eventually we'll catch something. In which case, it is the weirdest, disgustingest brown fish thing ever. Yum. Oh, maybe it's a fish stick. Uh, it's probably not a fish stick, actually. <laughs> it's not really even a stick. It, it's close to being a stick, I suppose, but it's not really sticky enough. Well, actually, that thing looks really sticky, so never mind. I'm contradicting myself all around. Is this thing dead yet? Oh, cool. Yes, it is. Yum. Alright, with that, we can complete our level 42 or something, I believe. Hello, sir. We have been waiting for you. Everyone is dead, and including you now. Ending this with a... What, Nitrama? Yeah. The Neo Company, Nitrama. There we go. Wait for a green light. Uh, an annoying thing with this level is that you have buffalo wandering around, so... They sometimes interrupt what you're trying to do and your patience because they're flipping out everywhere. Albeit they're just mad because we're eating all of their ham and they really want to get their flesh back. It's not too bad though. You can live your life as a mud monster if you wanted to. Those are probably people who got their outfits a little bit too late, which is why they're covered in... Goop. I suppose. Talking about these things like their costumes. <laughs> Those things are miserable things just waiting to die. Look at how sad that thing is, or mad. It looks like a Squidward in mud form. Alright, then again, Squidward is my spirit animal, so I don't know why I dissed it. Wait for you to go down, eat you, and finish the level. Yeah! Alright, things are going fairly swimmingly for the last few hardest levels. This level isn't too hard if you're just going for explosion kills, but it is when you're trying to go for non-explosion kills. Like me. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes! I am alive. Okay, no, I'm not. I guess I turned invisible, ate the thing in time, and then blew my invisible self up. Uh, I'll just watch this entire world burn. Why are you even bother? It's fine. Die, everyone. Die. Oh, wait, never mind. This is how you fail the level. Yeah, you have a very short, small amount of blocks. And now there, everyone's in a corridor. It's great. I can't get over there. Let's try this again. Uh, 43? 44. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. 
back into the correct level, and this time, uh, as you can see, Anarchy does not win. Anarchy leads to failure. Oh gosh, I am in failure zone right now. Haha! -ha. Fast reacting. Okay, this wall's blowing up soon. Hold up, take it easy. Oh, alright, that was loud. Should I keep defusing this bomb and reigniting it? Um, please. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that went well, I suppose. I don't get my pie, though, but to be fair, I killed everyone, so... I probably don't deserve my pie. I still don't know what these brown things are. Like, the turtles could be considered a delicious cuisine, I suppose. If that is even a turtle. Like, what else has a shell that hangs out in... I... M maybe it's a turtle. I, I, ha I have no idea what that thing is. It's... I'm sure it's delicious, though, so don't you worry. Albeit, you probably can't eat a bunch of bones, so... I guess that goes away with the buffalo as well. Alright. The only danger with this level is that you have a lot of small corridors, so if you misplan your attack, you can screw yourself over quite a bit. In my case, I just want a pie. There we go. Oh, oh, ah, oh, dang it. Just one more space, man. Just one more. Alright, smack him. Smack him, you're good. Oh, hey, right to me. Lovely. Another level done by the awesome and all-inspiring Ray Laser. This level is very annoying, and the best way to go about it is to move horizontally whenever you can, because there's spikes everywhere. Hidden spikes too, so it makes it pretty hard to shoot things sometimes. Alright, there you go. We'll grab our second one. And I guess I'll prepare my second shot. I'm not really sure what I'm even doing at this point, but it's fine, right? Oh, I caught him. Alright, cool. Oh, alright, just in time. Oh, that thing's coming for me. Alright, time to run. Otherwise, I think we're good, so let's just navigate around here. Dang it, there's an egg in the way. Alright. I guess food is a little bit of an obstacle around here, but no one ever gets mad when they get free points, so... I don't see them as an obstacle. Just happy little mistakes. Ah, okay. Missed. No big deal. Oh. Want to grab the blocks horizontally the entire time? Just so I don't accidentally take a little bit too long and get myself killed? Don't know why I bothered trying to launch and hit this guy in here because it's going to take forever for this block to slow down and leave me alone. And it's going to end in front of it. it yeah, behind it. Great. Try this again. I'm sturkin. I'm lurking. I'm in a really bad stuff. And I'm dead. Why did I do that? Ah, oh, this level is a little bit brutal. Let's go for the food items first. I reckon that's a better idea. And hopefully you don't turn on me. You did. <sighs> oh. I see that uh, these levels are going to start giving me a hard time now. Great, I'll just let you go back and do your thing. As well as you, sir. I'll wait for the spikes to go down behind me. Please don't turn around. Lovely. Things are going swimmingly, except for the fact that he's charging me. Run! Ah! Ah, why are you all so brutal? I only just want to devour you whole. Oh, okay. Sayonara, sucker. Oh, two for one combo. Great deals. Oh, eat jello. Oh, living on the max. Yeah! There's a spike in my bot. <laughs> Alright, this level is also a bit annoying because shelled monsters plus explosives is a little bit annoying. I believe, however, that the idea of defusing the bomb whenever you eat it is actually a mistake. Although I could be wrong considering this hallway is designed in a very horizontal linear format. But I don't think this was supposed to be. It could have been, just so you can reuse the same block as long as you keep juggling it, but... I'd like to think that this makes it a little bit harder because you have to time your shots properly and everything. If you couldn't defuse it, but you don't really have to do that since you can just reignite it. I guess you could end up losing blocks like that, but even then that's not too big of a deal. I'll just wait for these guys to start moving. Or one guy to start moving. Or not move- okay, whatever. On the bright side I still have one explosive block left, so let's grab this grape and sneak out of the way. Oh. 
What an intense game. Y you're playing this on a tile-based area, so it's not even that fast. But just those small actions. To know that thing is living, breathing, thinking. Could screw you over at any time. In my case, I just ate him, so I don't really have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> is this the final level? It is level 49, I believe. I also had a lot of troubles with this level. Simply because I'm very, very impatient. And also because it's very annoying to have spikes everywhere while you're trying to move. You obviously want to just shoot the blocks whenever you're on a safe spot. But you will probably more than not have to eat everything on a spike block as fast as you can. And also, another good idea is to never turn backwards. And always just walk forward like in a game of Snake. In order to not screw yourself over. But otherwise... Uh, this level is pretty easy, although it's sometimes a, a little bit tense. Just a little bit. There we go. We completed the level. I only had to strain myself just a little bit. And now we're on our final level, which is a little bit annoying because there's fish things everywhere. The good news is that we have a stone block, so we can combo these guys whenever we want. My idea is that I want to take out these two real quick. Or they can just take a turbo pattern. Leave me alone. Come on. I'll fight you both. Or you can do that. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Get, get out of my way. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, evil green thing. Evil green thing. Get away from me. <laughs> Try to eat food, man. Ah, why am I doing this? This just makes everything harder. Mm, this video is probably going to be the shortest one of every single one of them because I just did really good on these levels, apparently. Not really. It's because... Eh, whatever. It's because I want a level too early. It's fine. Yeah, you fly over that tomato and do absolutely nothing. I'll just... So beautiful. A, a symbiotic relationship has been created between a fish and a tomato. So, never have I seen such. What have I been doing all my life? I could, I could start anew. I could go live happily. I can take care of my food addiction and just be free. And uh, I'll just eat this guy. Alright, let's navigate around him and finish him off. Oh, Nitrome, you and your silly little quips. Oh, Alright, I'm just gonna knock him out, run around, get the food item that I wanted to. Which is this chicken and... And for you, sir, I will let this tomato live and rot inside this dungeon. Forever. Mwahaha! <laughs> oh, that wasn't level 50. Well, whatever. It's fine. We have another level to do. This one's still not too difficult as well. It's another thing of where you're trying not to... Okay. Where you're trying to not to waste all of your bombs. I, I was a little bit curious why our timer was a little short. But yeah, for the most part, you can scrap a lot of these bomb blocks, so it's not too big of a deal. And I just blew up my tomato, so that's fine. Did I hit you? Yes, I did. Alright, I need this block, actually. Please, defuse it. Lovely. Uh, let's defuse it this way. If you try to go the vertical direction, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I just lost my block, but it's okay, because the buffalo died anyways. Um, if this was a perfect run, I would be crying right now, because this is the 50th level, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> thank god I'm not doing a f perfect run. Can you just get out of the way? Thanks. I wanted the carrot. Alright. We're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna want to detonate this up here since I need these two blocks in order to kill the buffalo. Lovely. We hit both of them. And if I could get the pie. Get the no! No pie! Ah. Alright. Well, with that, we have apparently escaped from the dungeon, which I'm not really sure of since... Our guy was really happy to eat all the inhabitants, as literally all the inhabitants, as well as all the food in it. Anyways, thank you for watching my lovely playthrough of Square Meal. If you enjoyed and you want seconds, you can play the game for yourself by clicking Nitro in the sidebar to the right. Or you can, I don't know, regurgitate your meal and eat again by going to playlist and clicking the first video. Or you can just be thankful that you ate the meal and subscribe. At any rate, I will see you in my next playthrough. Bye!